Episode 134. Wow. Dude. Wow. Wow. Let me see you, Shane. Let me see how 134, you baby. Let's get it. Okay. We sound checked. Mm-hmm. I, I just literally stopped the tape that fast, mm-hmm. sound checked. Bam. We sounded mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. fucking good. Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow. What's up, bruh? Wow. Yo, we got a text from Billy in the group text. What's he saying? I don't know. Let me check real quick. I think he's bullying. Uh yeah, yeah he's, he's talking about subreddit. Yeah, he's bullying on the come down subreddit. <laughs> How about that, dude? That was a big surprise this week for a lot of people. That was when Worlds Collide, Power Man Five Thousand, dude. This is what it's like. <laughs> so collide. funny. So Are funny. You ready for me? Cause I'm ready yeah, for dude. you. Wah! Power Man Five Thousand is a shit. I used to love that. What's what kind of genre is that? Like it's like industrial, industrial metal. Industrial, yeah. It's fucking sick. It's like pre. It's like techno metal. I don't know. Love it. They had weird shit going on. Cool I outfits. It. And also, it's weird too. All the um, country rap, I feel like, is becoming like a big genre. That's two worlds that are like once they collide, they're like oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Both of us are pretty similar. Yeah, I think there's a lot of similarities a lot between of like, like I'm the... down on my luck. <laughs> Things are hard, but I will prevail. But I gotta keep pushing through. Well, I don't country... trust women. True, dude. I don't trust my baby. That is very much like that, and very much like God centered. Like I'm the best. I, I was actually this. Uh, yeah, only God can judge me. I'm a rooting tootin' boy. Yeah. I mean that goes to that Tom, that goes back to the truck. Thomas Sowell book. Black rednecks and white liberals. Same that's a thing. Si- that's a fucking sick theory. Sick theory. I was thinking about fucking zaddies all day long on Zaddy? Father's Day on Zaddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah Father's dude. Day. Just thinking of all the zaddies that like love God and fucking still cheat on their wives. Why are you like, calling them zaddies? It's just a zaddy, dude. If you're a zaddy and you just like love, no, it's, it's, it's like are... Pitbull. Pitbull probably like really actually believes in God, but like can't stop cheating on his wife. I think zaddies are just anybody like a young hot chick likes. Really? She's like, thanks, Zaddy. I thought Zaddy, wow, I don't Zaddy. Think Zaddy would be like someone who just provides for you like financially. True. And, like, it's like a sugar you. daddy. Yeah, like a yeah. Zaddy. Thanks, but I feel Zaddy. like daddies can be Zaddies, dude, if they get a little bit of a wild streak going. I think Zaddy, yeah. Because they can like, there's a lot of successful like businessmen that like get younger girlfriends and like put them up and just kind of like store chicks in different buildings. And sure. like, I'm going to leave my wife, I swear. I and promise like, you. Once they get them hooked on that life, it's like... For like four years. Yeah, man. It's like, you kick them to the curb. Yeah. People like, are complaining about DiCaprio for only fucking young chicks. Dude, he has a hard line. He has a baby lady, baby girl line. At 24, he leaves them. Before 25, he never dates anyone over 25. So they're going to start coming at him. And they were like calling him a pig for that. Now this it's is... Like, dude, he's the fucking man. Okay, so the, now the collective women unconscious is rearing its ugly head, dude. That's like their main... Yeah, jam yeah, up yeah. in life as younger chicks so it's like all right sexual assault no doubt with you on that and it's like whoa dating oh, you're telling me this brilliant successful actor has to date an old hag same thing with r like kelly he self same yeah. thing with kells <laughs> yeah, the only reason people have a problem the chicks love it dude the only people have a problem is because they're hot true that and 17 true that dude <sighs> come on no nah, dude bro i hear you it's just it's a it's a tough There's spot that someone made like a graph of everybody he's dated and, and where he stops dating age? them. Yeah. Every time at 25, which is a I sick mean, move, dude. Yeah, dude. Do we need to bust out the picks? Do we also need I to even discuss you, this? I guarantee you, if I busted out the picks of the chicks he's dumped and the girl he's dating now, I could clearly be like, oh, he made the right choice. Yeah, he continued to we, win. We could make the, we could do the, the you know, the science behind it. Like, well, this chick's young and hot. This yeah. chick's old and crabby. She he turned 25 dumped. and became crabby. <laughs> Yeah, dude. It's, it's every single time he was probably on a boat, and once she hit 25, she was probably like, look at all these girls. Ew. Like, yeah. how young are they? What are they doing here? Well, imagine, too, it's like DiCaprio is equipped to, like, take women out on just, like, I don't know if you ever saw The Millionaire Matchmaker. It's like Millionaire. <laughs> no. It's just it's the dumbest show. It's like millionaires are so fucking busy that they, like, hire this lady to set them up with chicks who only want to date millionaires. Whores or whatever, <laughs> whatever, whatever it is. Dumb whores, you mean? Yeah. So then, like, or every woman. But every date starts with like, I figured we'd hop on the helicopter 
and yeah, go yeah, see yeah. like a dinosaur museum and then like build clay from like it's like they'll go like dig up like an archaeological grave and like then go out to dinner on a helicopter it, all the dates are like so like, DiCaprio is probably taking them on like imagine if you're like on a huge boat on the south of France and your girlfriend decides to fucking give you put any on her fucking pant. lip yeah dude. you're probably like I dare you I mean it must be so hard not to like bin Laden her in the first place just fully be like Whoosh. yeah dude get her on a dinghy send her back to shore be like someone's there they'll pick you up yeah. all your stuff's at the hotel imagine putting a babe on a timeout dude on the high seas just send them yeah. on a lifeboat just back tie, to the, land. tie the rowboat to the back of the yacht give them about you know, 40 yards out of That's the That's where your babe starts walking sideways like a crab on land. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's tough because I feel like women are genetically programmed to become, like, they have this secret quest to become fat and mean. And, like, when you get, when I'm telling <laughs> so you. I'm, I'm just a grown woman, <laughs> yeah. dude. I'm just a grown fucking woman, dude. You're just a kick-ass woman, Just a woman, mean, dude. fat idiot. Dude, I'm telling you, I think they, like, they really have it. Dude, like, tell a chick that you, if you tell me, like, hey, Matt, you can't have a cupcake, I'd be like, if you make it a sufficient case, I'm like, all right, yeah, you're right. I probably don't need yeah. cupcakes. You tell a chick, like, you don't need that. They fucking freak, dude. Even on, like, a, even, like, not on, like, an aesthetic thing, just be like, yo, that's, like, a, that's a lot of sugar. That's kind of bad. I can't, like, dude, <laughs> Brittany worked out, like, twice in the last two weeks. And today she's like, I think I'm going to get Stromboli. And I'm like, fucking Stromboli? She's like, well, I don't know. Like, I've been working out a lot. I'm like, dude. It's, Stromboli so is you, a strong <laughs> meal, dude. Yeah. Like, so you think you deserve fucking 3D a pizza? <laughs> not even pizza. You need, like, to add, like, I, different dimensions. I even stray from bully, dude. If I see a bully coming down the pond, I'm like, all right, I don't need that. That's crazy. Dude, to think of someone who ate pizza and was like, it's not bad. If only it kind of went out into another dimension. Yeah. <laughs> I just slapped with... a fucking hoagie on top of this. Yeah, dude. I'm like, you think you deserve like it? And like, like I'm going to let my hair down. I'm eat a strong bully, dude. That's a fucking that's like an, that's a meal designed to just ruin you. Yeah. Stromboli. I've hit, I've hit a fucking. I've hit a solo bully fucking <laughs> delivery order. I've hit a bully, dude. They open that fucking place it's like right fucking, by here. That's like shameful. There's a place right by here that only deals bullies. No, it's a Is shop. It inside out pizza. No, it's uh, inside out. Strictly deals in bullies. This dude. place only sells bullies. What? And you know, I've, I've hit it up a couple of times and immediately been like, Jesus, Christ. I got like a buffalo chicken stromboli. It was so disgusting, dude. It was just <laughs> fucking cheese and buffalo sauce. Dude, Shromboli, they should set up Shrombolis the same way they do safe injection sites. Where, like, you have to go under supervision. And someone's trying to talk you out of it the whole time. Yeah. Like, look, you're man. Like, you shouldn't be doing this, but if you're going to do this, here's the Caesar salad bully. <laughs> <laughs> we need to do it under direct supervision. Here's the grilled chicken bully. You don't. You don't need the fucking. She hit me with a. I literally. Stick. I literally <sighs> sold. I might get a bully. After I this. sold. I was like Stromboli. Stromboli, <laughs> dude. I was like, what the fuck makes you think you need a Stromboli for fucking lunch? You're gonna be sick. You're gonna be ill after you eat this. Yeah. What's the difference between a bully and a calzone? That's been an age it's, old I, question I think for it's me. Just the tan of the hands that make it for you. Really? Is it a wop or is it a fucking butt fucking Greek? Really? Calzones are Greeks. Are you sure? No, I'm just saying. That. I hear you. Though. I think calzones are are Greeks, though. Why are you calling them calzones? Calzone, dude, and Jeros. <laughs> it's a cal calzone. A cal now you got me fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think calzone is yeah. Calzone's made by a Greek. Is this the first time you've switched to calzone? Calzo Have you been calling no, calzones? Calzo I call them calzones. I was just calling right. calzones. I was calling it calzones and stromboli. I like calling it a stromboli. A stromboli. I was like, what makes you think you need stromboli. a stromboli? Yeah, you gotta hit it that hard syllable. But yeah, man, if you uh, let them know, it's like totally foreign to you. You gotta see who makes the. So if someone makes you a, a stromboli or a calzone, you challenge them to a wrestling match, and they try to butt fuck you. That's a calzone. That's obviously made by. A Greek. That's how it works. And if they're like, hey, hey, take it, hey. hey, whoa, what are you doing here? Hey. Hey, you if they be, hit you, you with that, like, I'm not fucking gay, <laughs> yeah. dude. The guy did that. I was watching. Uh, oh, this is crazy. What? I was watching the fucking Toronto. <laughs> this is that's how busy I was Ooh. today. I was watching the Toronto Raptors parade. <laughs> they had their championship parade. No, dude, this TV was it was insane. I just didn't expect it. It was insane. So you watched a parade? I all right, so how I was charged like, up were you? I was flipping I got so mad, dude. <laughs> what? Fuck Canada. You weren't parading? Bro, I was flipping through the channels past NBA TV, which was airing like you are an old lady. the Canadian broadcast <laughs> yeah. of this. Uh why was I here? You were here. Oh, today. I dropped off. I figured and then I got, went off. and got my hair cut. Yeah. While in the meantime, I was watching the victory parade. 
And the, what was funny is I was like watching it like, damn, there could be a shooting. This is live. Why? There was a fucking shooting. I missed it. I had to go Stop. get my hair cut. There was a fucking shooting. You Nostradamus is shooting? I fucking knew it was coming. There was fucking five million people in one spot. I was like, Drake. Somebody's going to have a handgun there. <laughs> Drake's there. But, uh... They, uh, you think the shooting was tied to Drake? Well, first off, I, th- I looked it up. I think only two people got shot, and they're okay. And then they just kept giving speeches. Like, there was two million people in the crowd. They literally were okay. like, all right, two people got shot. Statistically, Let's Keep yeah. this thing fucking moving. Keep rolling, yeah. We're not going to shut this down. Who, what was the shooting over? Did they know? Uh, I think they were like, it's not a mass shoot. Like, they were like, it's nothing. So it was two black people. It was people. a regular shooting. It was a black person. Okay, so like this If is... I had to guess, I don't know. You don't know? But the way that the, everybody was just like, well, it didn't seem like it was... Anytime it's black people, they're like, well, that was a normal thing. They were just like, no, <laughs> just like, they're like, like, yeah. He was targeting someone. That's They were probably fighting. Yeah, they're like, well, we searched the scene. There was no manifestos. Yeah, yeah. They're like, oh, keep it going. But uh, what was funny was, <laughs> so the reason this whole thing caught my eye. Sure. Was right when I turned, like, turned it on for a second. Because I'm not, I didn't even watch, I'm not going to watch a fucking championship parade. Sure. But it was Canadians just fucking gloating about being Canadian. Ugh. So this is... This all goes back to when Kevin Durant got hurt. Mm-hmm. He got hurt in Toronto. Which, first off, Kevin Durant was hurt going into this. He, like, tried to play on yeah. a fucked up leg. It was, like, heroic. Yeah. And then he blows his Achilles out. Damn. And the fucking arena starts cheering. It's a bunch of these fucking Canadians who bragged the whole time about how fucking nice they were. A dude blows his Achilles out, and the whole place is like, Wow, we the North. We're going to fucking win. Like, all this gay shit. Yeah. He starts... Like, it instantly made me cheer for Golden State. Oh, for sure. I was like, these guys stink. Yeah, so man. So they've, they've got this... Uh, and I, they hate Native Americans. They hate them. They run them off the Canadians land. Canadians hate Native Americans, dude. Mm-hmm. It's unbelievable. The Inuits? Yeah, they, it's crazy. Although, I've heard the Eskimos and Inuits are dirty people. You don't want them around. Really? I'm with the Canadians. Oh, Canada? You got to get them out of here. Not me, dude. You like them? Yeah. I do. I, I'll give I'd you fi- that. I would fire them up. They kind of have the same disposition as Ruiz. Fat fat lad kings. Really? Yeah, the fucking Inuits. They were stocky. I thought they had like... Inuits uh, are stocky boys. They had like shredded Conor McGregor's. Inuits? I don't know. I, I mean, are all the... Wait, you thought are all Canadian the Native, Native Amer- Americans were like Vikings that just Sweet stayed though, there? Dude, I thought they were like... <laughs> no, no. I, thought they, I thought they were like night wolves. <laughs> no, they look like... They look like uh, like cartoons of Eskimos. What? They're like fat. They look like Mongolians. They have fat natives there. Yeah, they look like Asians. So the native population of Canada was fat boys. Yes, they had what? to be fat, dude. They're up there in the cold. Yeah, but is all Canada like an Arctic no, country? No, but I'm talking the Inuits up north. Oh, cause that's that's like the main. No, beef. they had regular like Native Americans. Gotcha. By like the lakes and shit. But then they had the fats. Up then top. the fats up by the by the pole. <laughs> the fats are up there fighting bears. <laughs> Dude, that's so. Fucking anyway, funny. so I'm flipping through the channels and it gets to these Canadians and they're just bragging about how great Canada is. That's all it is. They first of all, everybody talks about how great Canada is as far as like being like humble and nice. Yeah. These are arrogant cunts for such a shithole country. Yeah, dude. They're like, and they were like. Sh- Throwing shade at America the, the whole time. World, right? They're like, look at this crowd, how diverse it is. That's what makes Toronto so great, is just diversity. Look at there's people of all different races and colors and genders. It's beautiful. It's like shut the fuck up. Yeah, dude. Come to Why fo- are you doing they said that the whole time? Have they ever not been to like a city on the East Coast? I don't know. I guess not. It's all that's also kind of weird to like minority shame people. Yeah. It's like look how many minorities we have. Like, bro. Look how many fucking weird Asians we have here. <laughs> this is awesome. We got fucking Chinese that love basketball. That's what this is all about. Yeah, it's almost like dude, our minorities thing, are cooler than your minorities. The whole thing was they had a fucking flyover from the Canadian military. They called the snowbirds. The snowbirds flew over. The fu- like the, like, the wow. extension of like the Rocky Mountain Patrol. Yeah, that's like the bobbies, the English bobbies on horses. The Mounties. The Mounties, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they look like they're dressed the like birds. bobbies, yeah. yeah. They can't, they never let go of England, dude. Yeah, the Eng- England's still on their money. They got the queen on their money, dude. Disgusting, Canada's dude. Canada's fucking pathetic. Disgusting, dude. Disgusting. Tories, dude. Bunch of fucking... They never got... They never fucking overthrew Ugh, them. Jesus. Oh, they never did, did they? No. Wow. Nah, Trudeau was there. Trudeau was in the crowd. Yo, Trudeau... <laughs> Trudeau, like, completely sold out the... Uh, like the natural resources of Canada. You know, he comes out as like, he's like wearing like all this cool garb. He's dressed like a Native American. Dressed literally dressed like a Native American. I was yeah. reading shit about him. Apparently, like, he's like let them just lay waste to that land. Like oil and all this shit. Trudeau's a fucking phony, dude. Of course he's a phony. 
like I was reading this lady. Who we've was, we've been on that. We I tip know. of the spear on him. I know. We hated him since the first time we saw him. Who's talking about? Um, it's a, actually it was funny. I saw I saw a talk. I was at the Jungian Society chilling on Thursday night. And went for yeah. another talk. This lady. <laughs> what? Yeah, dude, it's awesome. You go to the uh, society? Yeah, the Jungian Society. I go and watch like the speakers, dude. Uh, it was so fucking. Do funny. you feel good while you're there, like about yourself? Sort of. I feel weird because I feel it's like there's I, weirdos, dude. I it's, bet you feel like you're like like when I read a book, I'm like I'm good. Do you get any? No, satis- you, don't, I, you don't get self satisfaction. When I go there, I just feel weird. I'm just, I'm I'm watching it. Everyone there makes me feel kind of uncomfortable because there's like people there are weird as fuck. It's all like like therapists and like yeah. psychologists and they're just psychos. So you go in there. I was happy I was there, and the lady was talking. Dude, it was unbelievable uh synchronicity it was just this the ladies I, i'm like let me see what the talk is this month celtic mythology i said what the fuck dude wow 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 so i'm like let, you know Oof. and the lady wrote a book called if women rose rooted so it's about the it's her take on a feminist perspective if people stop all the nonsense of like women basically trying to be men and women just yeah. recognize their women and rise up in the as the forefront of protecting the ecosystem and regaining their place as like the arbiters of like the natural world and all this stuff, dude. I was like, this is, this is awesome, dude. Wait, women are supposed to be protecting like trees in Celtic mythology. Women were the ones. It's like Christian Christianity came and kind of destroyed goddesses. A lot of like pre-Christian religions had the goddess was the one who really created everything, yeah. and man was here like battling it out to be like, check me out, look how fucking hot I am. And the goddess would be like, nice dude, here's some fucking. Oh, you got the Virgin Mary. Come on, man. Yeah, but She's that a, was come on. Oh, yeah, but she don't don't, they, don't that, tread on my religion again. No, she brought. They finally. It took like multiple councils to like bring her in as like a yeah, fourth yeah, entity, yeah. and the, it's now not a trinity. It's like the whatever it is. So it was this lady was saying how like in Celtic mythology, especially, she's like, there's a ton of goddesses, and they typically were like in charge of the land. There was like well maidens that would like you'd walk by, and they would like dole you out some water for every. There was enough stuff for everyone until like this, like a rapacious king got too greedy and like, raped all the fucking. <laughs> Well made yes, and everything got all yes. fucked up. So you get the well maidens, dude. But this lady, she's talking, she's doing her thing, and uh, this fucking lady. Actually, I asked, I asked the first question. I was curious about this. I was like, does anyone? I was like, is there any? It was pretty <laughs> I funny. You asked like a ridiculous dude. like, what were like the well maidens like? <laughs> <laughs> were they hot? The um, I was I was actually asking my mom's uncle. Used to when I would go to his house, would always tell him like I was, he lived in a like an apartment basement. My mom would, like dropped me off there and run errands, and I was just sitting there, just so fucking creeped out. And he'd be like, "There's a man who comes around and he has a big bag and he throws little boys like you." And I was like, "He takes them away." So I asked her, I'm like, my my mom's uncle used to tell me about the story about this guy with a bag. He used to bring little kids away. I don't know if he was just like fucking with me or if that's like tied to actual uh, folklore in in like Ireland. This lady's from Ireland. She was like, yeah. Uh, she was like, sounds like the Puka Man. She's like, where is he from, Kerry? I was like, yeah, Kerry, Cork, like right around there. She goes, yeah, that's like really common around there. Dude, this lady hits the fucking the folklore from just word of mouth. Here he was giving me oral tradition, dude. Yeah, man. Just being like the, the Puka Man. Apparently the Puka Man would pick up little like bad boys and cart them around and just drop you off somewhere. And you'd be like, Ugh, and you have to like run away. He wouldn't fuck you or kill you. He would, he would just... man. I don't think they would kill you. I think some of them probably would like eat you or Damn. fuck you up. But it, it was like you would get he like would just pick you up and drop you off. You get picked up and you're being a puka you're man's being a bad bag. Boy. Dude, you're being dude a bad boy. my dad fucking puka man to me. <laughs> Did he really? Remember that time he just dropped me off like <laughs> yeah. three miles from my house? <laughs> yeah, it's an old Irish tradition, dude. dude tell you, if so... your boy's being bad, you drop put, him off at the park. You put him three in a sack, miles dude. away. You confuse him in a sack. <laughs> Dude, I was like, Dad, we're passing our exit. <laughs> he just dude, dropped me off at this. Well, I didn't realize how, like, apparently the Christianity, like, hit Ireland pretty hard, but that other, like, the fairy, they call it, like, the fairy religion, that, like, stayed around forever. So that's why he'd always be like, there's a little man in my room if you go in. Like, they believe in, like, this weird shit. Really? The other world, and it's called the other side, or the other world or whatever, and it's just, like, it's always around at all times. And if you, like, during, like, Halloween or if you, like... Go out in the ocean a certain way, you can just enter the other world. You don't know you're oh. in it. So it was, dude. There, it's like wild. She was like talking like about Stranger all that. Things for mix. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> or you just much. drink too much. You just like, there's evil fairies <laughs> trying to fuck with me now. <laughs> I'm in the other world. I'm in the other world. I can't talk to you. Now. <laughs> so that was why, dude. So this, sorry, this lady. So you know, every everyone's having a good time. Ask my so question. Wait, so she's giving a fucking lecture, and then she's like, "All right, we're gonna open this up to yeah. questions." And you're like, "Excuse me, my uncle used to tell me a guy with a bag was gonna get me." <laughs> yeah. 
what's that about? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Damn, that's a risk. Because if she would have been like, I've never heard of such a thing. And that's what You'd I said. You'd just be sitting there like, cool, pretty cool. That's why I was like, I'm going to preface it. This question might end with a hard no. But, and I was like, and she was like, yeah, it sounds like, uh, so then this lady, next lady comes up. You tell she'd been fucking waiting for this. She's like, um, now that women are like being mistreated more than ever, dude. She led with now that women are being mistreated more than ever. Yeah. Like more than ever women are going on the saying. And what fucking world is she from? Dude, this lady just got done talking about like ancient times and like people, everyone was getting raped left and right. And like, dude, it was like, it was crazy. So I'm like sitting there and I can tell this lady is chomping at the bit. A couple ladies like, mm hmm, like nodding. It's so hard for us now. Yeah, man, it was fucking wild. That's so, a lady gives a speech about like, ah, oh, we've been getting raped for millennia. It's, <laughs> it's been so hard for years, and then somebody's like, now that it's really hard for women. Now it's the worst. This lady was like, it's increasingly da 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 da, and dude, this lady without like basically being like shut the fuck up was just like, yeah, I don't know, like, because she basically purported like we need the shift to like all women leadership, blah blah blah, and the lady was just like, yeah, I don't know. uh She's like, I hear about the patriarchy. She's like, I don't know that a matriarchy will be much better, though. She's like, we need more of, like, a synthesis and, like, have yeah. just She just made too much sense, dude. It didn't <sighs> like it, dude. It, like, they they kind of, like, like you can tell they're a little bit oh. scorned, like, uh, 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 and then the next lady just asked some other question. Like, I, I was ready. I was getting up to leave. I'm like, I, I don't want to watch this shit. The next lady was like, well, it's just weird. You, like, talk about how, like, ancient Celtic women were, like, in charge of, like, spiritual matters. You know, like, relating it to, like, a psychology and therapy, and yet, like, I don't know, I just, like, don't really see how that applies now, since it's, like, a male-dominated field. It's like, dude, talk therapy is a fucking women-dominated field. Yeah, it's like, look around, I'm in the, school look around this room. Literally all women. It was, dude, 90% women in the yeah. room. And I was, like, looking, I was, like, I was with Brittany, I was, like, we're fucking out of here. Ooh. It was funny, she was on her little, when the lady said it, she went, Pfft. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was, dude, I was watching that, and I was, like, this, I'm actually, I, I emailed the lady... So I'll probably do a little interview with her in uh, in July. Is there anything better than Bay's turning on feminism? Yo, bro. When was... your Bay's like, listen, this shit sucks well, dude, about feminism. It, oh, it was funny because this la- I'm reading her book, and she's clearly like, this is how women got fucked through the ages. This is what happened. Like, we've gotten boned so hard. Basically being like Christianity came in, and then like if a woman was like, I'm not down with this, they were like, yeah, dude, burn this witch. Fuck this lady. <laughs> and then it's like, there's all this shit ramped yeah. up like that. So she's like, now we're trying to figure out a way, like, we can't, we're not going to, like, rise in this world pretending to be men or, like, imitating the bad qualities of men when we're just women. We should find out our own thing and, you know, this and that. Mm. Dude, it's, like, a great fucking message, dude. Yeah. It's not not disempowering. It's more, because, dude, I was, I was literally last week talking about that, how they just, like, get these, like, shitty male personas, like, women who, like, have, like, they get this, like, nasty, like, asshole-ish male. We've, I mean, I've been talking about that for a while like with comedy yeah. oh yeah Female comedy is just like oh we we we're bros yes like so i was like sucking dick the other day and i was <laughs> like fuck it i'll just get another abortion because i'm fucking out here partying it's like that's not comedy yeah what are you doing that's the exact thing you hate about douche male comedy dude it, it's mind-boggling yeah. yeah you said that a while ago every movie well they're just remaking old bro movies with girls acting like bros yeah it's weird it's like you know i gotta get some dick tonight and like oh you're crazy <laughs> yeah dude oh the funniest is when Ooh. you pulled out the new archetype of the fucking uh, asian, asian hip-hop who, asian hip-hop asian they just dude. broke out a new commercial with uh Stop. uh two chains and some asian lady getting like getting their nails done and they're talking about the iPhone. She's like, yo, get this. I had to delete my picture of my grandma to take a picture of my grandma. What's up with that? And 2 Chainz is like, damn, that's crazy. True. It really is. And it's just like, holy fuck, we're really doing this? Yeah, dude. Although the demographics, I fuck, I saw this interview. And it was talking about how now they're trying to uh, advertise the millennials and the, um, the demographics have shifted big time. Where you, it was like 70-something percent white. Now it's like 50 and 50. It's like 50% white, and then there's like 50% non-white, basically, in terms of demographics to advertise to now in the United States. Mm. The demographics have shifted big time, dude. Well, everybody can get behind black people Yeah. when it comes to advertising. Then, well, the thing is... So it's is, like Asians can act black. And that's Fire the thing. that up. You're gonna, so, yeah, you're going to have basically like... This like goes for everybody. Pretty much. Yeah. Well, it's like now it's like hip with enough white people. Most minority, there's some stodgy fucking minorities we're going to see, like, 
LeBron James, you're going to be like, meh. There's like some old white men, Indian men kicking around. Right? Yeah, but they're not, you know, they're not buying Sprite. True. They're probably not really bothered by it either. Yeah. My, my dad, I got to witness because I there was a Sprite commercial that I knew was going to fucking kill my dad. What was it? I knew it was going to kill him. It's just like there's one of just Migos mm-hmm. in like a mansion riding like kids' tricycles. Yeah. Dressed like Migos, screaming gibberish like Migos. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. hey, brr, uh, yeah. Sprite. Uh. <laughs> like, just complete gibberish. Dressed like fucking retards. Yeah. And and then it's like, Sprite, obey your thirst. Brr, brr. <laughs> like, just shit they yell. <laughs> thirst. <laughs> like, uh, And that's the whole commercial. And then the other one's Ray Schremmerd. Those okay. two kids in a, in a dorm, apparently, where someone's making beats. And they're like, hell yeah. That's it. Sprite. And it's just like Sprite, lemonade. Do they ever sip it and go, ah. Yeah, they do that. And they're nice. doing like fucking dances and all that shit. It's great. But I just knew for a fact. Because first off, I barely <laughs> recognized Ray Schremmerd. Yeah, I don't know. Like I saw them and I was like, that's Ray Schremmerd. Otherwise, the commercial makes zero sense. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just two black dudes that are horrible at acting. <laughs> like it just makes no <laughs> sense. Like, these like obey your thirst. <laughs> like real bad. Yeah. And uh, I, I knew it was going to fuck with my dad. And during the NBA Finals, I, I got to watch him watch that. What did he say? He was, he was like, like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> he was just so <laughs> mad. He saw it. He was like, what the hell is this? He's like, who the hell is this for? That's so it's funny. It's just Migos riding kids' tricycles through like a... Oh, that's so funny, dude. Like Versailles. That's... Like this beautiful mansion. Yeah. It's it's amazing. What the hell? Like, what the hell was that? <laughs> He's just sitting there <laughs> drinking <laughs> drinking vodka out of a plastic cup. In the dark and like an undershirt. It's so like, funny to think about what the that. the fuck is going on in this world? Dude, to think about that is projected across America and have like a bunch of dudes at the same time. Like, ugh, ugh, <laughs> Just ugh. dudes in recliners like, what? what the fuck? Dude, I was listening to the radio last night and they named like four or five artists that I was like, all right, I'm officially fucking yeah. out of the loop. Yeah. Apparently like one of them. Light skin like, Keisha or some shit. There's one that's like Billy Elias or something. I She's heard... like the number one. I had no idea who yeah, she dude. was. I'm still. I thought Cardi B was like the biggest sensation or whatever. Oh, I saw a great Cardi B commercial. What? You would love it. I was watching YouTube videos, and one of the commercials is a Pepsi commercial. And, oh yeah, she's like the Pepsi. And she's thing. like, "Fuck, I forget what she says." She's, he's like, "Could I get a pe- a Coke?" They're like, "Oh, or could I get a Pepsi?" And she's like, "We only have Coke." And then Cardi B's like, "Brr, brr," like <laughs> just does that noise, and everyone's like, "What the hell was that?" And then like a black tranny is in another booth, and it's like. <laughs> starts making the noise and then they're like Pepsi that's it what the it's chaos dude fuck it's wild that, well they, I'm telling you they, they've they had a hard time figuring out how to advertise in general aside from race it's not me it's a dip I'm getting fired up you I'm better, mad about you better it dip. you're mad fucking... about that black tranny in the diner who knowing how to <laughs> and you're like what dad sit down he's dad like, don't what is it what the he's fuck like, is that noise what is going on why can't son? I have coke he's like where are we son <laughs> think how confusing that has to be for an old dude yeah, to dude. see a Ra- Ray Schremmerd like be like hell yeah Sprite <laughs> you're just like what the fuck world is this wait till he's 80 dude that's like I was I remember my my pop-up just being like utterly confused dude that's why he would just watch sports cable TV the news and just drink beer and sit in a recliner, and he must have had no fucking clue. Every what was commercial, going on. every commercial break must have just been chaos. Dude, we would talk about the internet. Oh, he would like he would look at him, and it's like I don't think he understood anything they were saying. And then look at me and go ah, and like laugh. And I'm like, all right, dude. <laughs> like a Liberty Mutual commercial. I'm like, oh, I guess it's funny. <laughs> yeah, it's funny when geezers like a commercial. Oh yeah, like, they'll be like, look at this. Check this one out. It's like a Geico like Hump Day it's like, commercial. Know, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. Like, yeah, that's good. Dude, drinking though, drinking and like watching baseball, and then it cuts to a fucking Cardi B Pepsi commercial. You literally must just be like, imagine seeing I'm a out. fake ass. You just get launched into space at every commercial break. You're just oh. out in the ether, <laughs> <laughs> floating like where Cardi am I? Cardi B has uh, ass implants. So imagine like not knowing people can have ass implants and seeing an ass that big and just being like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Like humans are evolving before your eyes. You're just yeah. like, what the? Just fuck bottom is of this? the fifth inning. Phillies versus Reds. <laughs> All of a sudden, you see a new body you've never seen. Somebody going, like, what? You don't know what that is. And you're like, no, I don't. Yeah, I was just home. I was just, uh, my fucking grandma 
Oh, yeah. She's getting close to biting the dust if she hasn't already. She hasn't yet? She's fucking survived. She's a fighter, dude. She is a fucking I'm mean old... On. She's a mean old Irish fucking... I hope she lives forever. She might. And that's kind of... It's funny to hear my family be like... Ah. <laughs> like, they, she was like on her deathbed. And they're like, she might not make it through the night. She and then the back. next day, my mom came back and she was standing fully clothed. Like, walking what? around talking. She was wearing, like, clothes. Sure she's not a ghost? She might be a ghost, dude. <laughs> she said she was, like, talking to people and shit. Damn. Yeah, there was, like, some sad moments where she was asking for my grandpa. Really? Yeah, and he's dead. She'd be like, well? She'd be like, yeah. It's like, well, just he's already over there. Hold your breath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold your breath for as long as you can. Here, You're going to meet him. The, smell his pillow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's it smell like to you? <laughs> <laughs> I think one of the states just legalized uh, voluntary euth- euthanization. Nice. Yeah. Well, like I heard the commercial. It's like it's my life and my. I'm like <laughs> the commercial is fucking Migos, just like kill yourself. Hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> <laughs> skirt. You need to fucking skirt out of here. Yeah, dude. it was like a commercial for like killing yourself, and I was just like, what the fuck, yeah, dude? dude we're like, already like, there. We're already dads watching baseball. Oh, dude, I'm fucked up. You're in the recliner in between. Luckily, I'm, just like, I'm out. Huh? Of, I'm huh? like luckily off Facebook and all that shit. Mm. I can't imagine just that daily dose every day was fucking me up. Of just opening it up and being like, what the fuck? Yeah, I got on today. I was telling you about that tweet. Joe Biden tweeted out some shit that was like, America was built on the the middle class. Like, we need to help them. And so one of our black friends was like, slaves built this country, you fucking piece of shit. It's just like, dude, come on. Yeah, it's like, come on, Still man. fucking slow down. Yeah. Every day I just get on Twitter and it's a different person just spewing shit that's like half true. Yeah, man. It's like, just shut up. You don't know anything. Well, it's also, you like, yeah, you have, <laughs> not that particular issue, but you know what I mean. Yeah, you'd have to define, like, all right, so what What's exa- everything? Yeah. What do you, like... Helped boost that economy starting out? <laughs> for sure. For sure. People were stoked on it. But to be like, yeah, yeah like, New York City... <laughs> I don't want to talk slaves. Like, New York City was built on slave labor. <laughs> I don't want to talk slaves, dude. <laughs> I mean, I hear you. I'll talk slaves. Nah, I don't want to talk slaves. I'll talk slaves. You had them. That's why you'll talk. Never had them, bro. You had them. Never had them. Bit of a had them. Someone indentured servanted my fucking aunties, dude. <laughs> True. <laughs> they got fucking picked up by that fucking Not puku the, man or the, whatever. The, the puku man? The puku yeah. p- <laughs> man? The puka man. The puka man. Puka man. I'll throw you in a sack, dude. Puka man dropped me off. You'll be a maid at the DuPonts. The puka man dropped me off at the park after I held my dad in the revolving doors at the vet. <laughs> dude, my... uh. I was actually, well, I, was, I call my mom right away and tell her about the Puka Man. And she was obviously fucking all, she was so excited to hear about that. But she said that, like, that's all her, like, oh, she calls them aunties. If you're black, you call them aunties. Yeah. I get shit all the time. My girlfriend, she's like, I'm like, what, what if you're is, O'Connor? What about your aunt? Oh, yeah. He call aunt. aunt. He say aunt? Of course he does. What? He's from Connecticut, dude. Ugh. My aunt. Yeah, dude. I'm like the lone man on that. I'll, I'll hear it's her. aunt. I always say aunt. And she's like, I'm not a bug. And I'm like, dude, I'm not calling her aunt. E. Auntie, it's auntie, but my mom would call them aunties. They're old aunties, and they would like literally like thought they saw ghosts like every other week. <laughs> yes. Like I heard someone yeah. was like, "Go to bed, Eileen." I ran upstairs and went under my blanket. Ran straight to bed. But they used to work in. It was a it was a ghoul. <laughs> <laughs> they used to work. They were maids for the Duponts, so they would be in the <laughs> Duponts house, and then like every night, like they like whoever whatever rich lady would come down, and be like oh good morning Eileen, she'd be like. I heard voices down here. The table was set up and someone was having a tea party. And they'd be like, all right, man. Yeah, whatever. Some old Irish lady every day would tell you a ghost story. would be like, last night I heard a clamoring and I came down. Tell you what, broads love ghosts. For That's sure. definitely where that like Celtic, Celtic mythology comes from, of like women being like in a different, it was they're just, just in a different realm. Yeah, it was like CSI 24. Dude. Women are like convinced ghosts are, women, every fucking chick I know has been like, I know ghosts are real. For sure. That's that, that's their. I'm telling you, that's the that's that's, that's the feminine, them. dude. Every fucking time, feminine oversoul. I mean, dude, go, women we'll, are just fucking dumb. Sit outside of the psychic thing with a clicker, and it's like, tell me how many dudes you get coming in and out of there. <laughs> me, if I'm on a double date the <laughs> yeah, first time, <laughs> I'll go. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go to a dude. I've went, never been there. I went to the one the one time with Brittany, and the lady had my hand right in front of Brittany and was like. You'll be married soon. I was like, yeah, no, just divorced, actually. But uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, probably not. It was pretty She's funny. like, oh, that's probably what I was getting. Oh, yeah, that's what I was picking sure. up. I knew there was something with marriage. 
She, did I say Meredith? Thought you're gonna eat pussy tonight. And I was like, all right, she's all right, good. Here's five bucks. She's good. There you go. Obviously knows what she's doing. No, I just I just said women are dumb, and I I do want to take that back. No, they're but they're just more they're very uh, susceptible to more magical minded. Ghosts. More magical minded. I would ghosts say. will get you. I'm very. I have a strong anima, so I'm heavily. I'm very animal minded. Or yeah, not at magical minded. I can tell that about a you. A lot of magical thinking. I'm not into that. Well, this dude, this is a bitter a ghost, pill. I, I mean, we've talked about it. A ghost attacked me, and I'm still like, nah, still ghosts believe. are not real. Dude, the bitter pill I was wrestling with the other day is the uh, just the total the inevitable extinction of the human species. Like when people were like, no, we're gonna go to Mars. I'm like, pretty sure we're gonna be extinct. I'm pretty sure every animal that lives gets extinct at one point. It, it's coming for us, dude. The fucking the black hand of total non-existence is coming for the entire race. I would say in about 100 years, 150. Whoa. I think come it's going to come man. about 150 years. No, dude. that's short. Every, people say that, but it's like, all it takes is like one comet to fucking nail us. We have no control Yeah, over but it. think about how long humans have been around. You're going to call, you calling 150 years within that window is short. I mean, dude, here's the thing. If I'm right, I'll never get props. <laughs> true. <laughs> and if I'm wrong, I'll be dead. Yeah, true. I mean, the best thing you can do is just call for the end of, end of humanity. If you're right, it's like... Yeah, people. Told you so. Bunch of like preachers and shit were doing that at the Willennium. 2K. Uh, oh, <laughs> Everyone was calling it. They were like, Willennium is when we die. We're about to blow up, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Willennium came by and they're like, oh, I mean, uh, next one. The next Aeon. Well, I'm thinking in terms of just overpopulation and all this. Like, it, it, it's built into it. The better we make everything, the more people are going to be. And if the more people here, it's like. Well, the more people, the, there might be a fucking mass death. We're going to get hit with a hard bubonic, dude. Yeah, we get hit with a we got decent a bubonic, play. We got a bubonic brewing that's gonna fuck people up. Yeah, I just I was thinking about that. I'm like, just the inevitability. Even if it's not for like 500 years or like 900, like, yeah, we're definitely all gonna check out at some point. We're gonna be obliterated. Every once in a while, there's like a flight from like Qatar that's yeah. like just held at the airport at JFK. It's like, don't get these fucking guys off this thing. Who knows? Like. Just what? like a disease, like some flight oh, from fucking yeah. Somalia. Yeah. And they're like, you'll see the news, and it's like flights being held at JFK. Do they really do that? Yeah, they'll fucking quarantine a plane and be like, all right, somebody on here has got something. What do they give them, like Ludens? I don't know. They got a fucking... Suck a fisherman's friend yeah. to get out there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's... I just saw a video of this. Uh, what do they do on an air, like airline like that? What do they do? Like I think it, it was all shit with uh, Ebola and shit like that that was going on. Like, here's some complimentary Purell. Eat it. Yeah. Fucking squirt this in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, or they just take them out back. Do you think? <laughs> and fucking wipe their butt? Dude, you gotta see this video. <laughs> this fucking Saudi Arabian flight. I think it was Saudi Arabian. What do they do? It is chaos, dude. Trash all up and down the aisle. So what? they all just throw trash on the Why? floor. And then they all take squatting dumps. Stop, So the dude. bathroom is just covered in Stop, shit. Stop, dude. Covered in shit Where'd you see this? Oh, Reddit. Stop. Dude. You're saying on this, if if I got to fly to, if we, what if we get called to <laughs> Saudi Arabia? So I was planning on live cast Saudi Arabia. It was something I'm trying to get going. You want to go to Mecca? For sure, dude. Whew. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to blast out of the wall while people are running around it. I had a fucking like sick. Episode 1049. Dude, I had a fucking killer Mecca joke. I did this weekend at Bananas. Yeah. Just How ate, was Nanner? It. ate it. <laughs> what? It was, it was me in like a ro- hotel lobby of like 40 WAPs. And they, first off, dude. they do not like getting called WAPs. No, dude. Which is hilarious. I'm like, are you guys really getting upset about this? What did they say? And you could, they were just like, no, we don't care. It's like, you guys are definitely hurt. Oh, my God. I was like, God. I thought we could fuck around about it. But anyway. Dude, I just watched Rocky. His fucking trainer's name is Mick. Yeah. He's an I was Irish like, guy. I could, you can call me a Mick. I don't care. Yeah. And I'll call you, you know, a fucking greasy, hook nosed, disgusting WAP piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's funny. Yeah, they fucking really they got upset. Butter. This really? lady, the, dude, I called this lady. I told her she looked like Mike Dicka in the front row. <laughs> he was fucking over from there. So, well, no, I. <laughs> she looked exactly like Mike Dicka. Oh my god. She looked exactly. I don't even know what Mike Dicka looks dude, like, man. It's so she funny. Looked exactly, I mean, I can picture it. Yeah. Exactly like Mike Dicka. So she's in the front row. Oh, fuck. And I got to the bottom of the story. She brought her three friends yeah. with her. So she was pissed that the show sucked. Okay. The, it, the show sucked. How do Connie do? <laughs> Uh, he did all right, but it's a, it was a tough room. Bunch of Ginzos, dude. Bunch of fucking old wops that were just like, like, what the fuck? No one wanted to be there. I still stand by Ginzo de Mayo, dude. Up in the fuck <laughs> yeah. when I was up in New York. Hilarious. Equal people are not feeling it either. Dude. I was like, fuck you guys. So I got on and I asked her, I was like, what's your 
because I saw her the whole set for O'Connor. She was mean mugging him. And I'm like, I, as soon as I got it. on stage, I was like, what the fuck is your problem? Like, what is And she explained what, and I was like, li- like, you brought your friends. Yeah. You're embarrassed that the show sucks. That's all right. Yeah. Like, well, who do you, I was like, who do you like? You like Jeff Dunham, right? And she was like, love him. And I was like, all right, this is not for you. Oh, that's This hilarious. show's not for you. And then, like, I thought of it. And I remember looking at my phone and seeing where it was. Sure. I was like four minutes into my set. <gasps> and I was like, dude, if I say that this woman looks like Mike Ditka, <laughs> I'm going to ruin this. I still got to do 45 more minutes. And the crowd's going to hate me. <laughs> but I was like, I, I, like, I was like, listen, this is too funny not to say. <laughs> I was like, if you're here, who's coaching the 1985 Chicago Bears? <laughs> and like one dude was like, ah! <laughs> one dude got it. <laughs> yeah, <probably. laughs> no one else knew what I was talking about. The lady wasn't even offended. Oh, she probably Googled she it. Was such like, How old was she? Probably like 55, 50. She wasn't that advanced in her geezer dome where she probably <sighs> internalized that one. Be told but I was like, you guys to make should it leave. 55 years and someone told you like the 85 Bears football coach. <laughs> I was like, you guys should leave. The worst one, she probably went home and like told her husband. He's like, what do you call you? <laughs> oh, man. She looked like Dicka without the mustache. She had his exact haircut. <laughs> and she just arms arms crossed front row. And I was a little drunk. It was the late show. And I was she like, might, why are you here? She might kill herself, dude. I hope. If you if she she's gonna go to everyone she, she knows was too dumb. and they're all just gonna be like <laughs> they're <laughs> she gonna was tell too her dumb. like you can believe this and they're gonna they're gonna fucking laugh in her face. She's too dumb to kill herself. You think so? Yeah, she that was water off a duck. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you look like Mike Dicko. She was like, be funny. I was oh like, all right. my god! I was dude. like, you have no idea how good that joke was. Oh lady. my god, she was that thick. Yeah, one dude came up afterwards and he was like, I didn't see her until after the show, like when she was walking out, and he's like, when I saw her, I, he was crying. <laughs> Because like when I made the joke, she was in the front row, so he couldn't see her. And then when she walked out, dude, that's how funny it was. Forty five minutes later, oh, the guy was fuck. like, Pa Oh my god. So the crowd was just one guy laughed that you know, just be like, All right. I had to just power through dude, it. Dude, I made fun of a lady's gear one like clothes one time and uh You can't hurt a lady's feelings. Dude, I did like a twenty minute people hate you. Dude, I did like a twenty minute set a while ago in like a pizza place in New Jersey. And I was like, who the fuck dressed you? And I started making fun of this lady's clothes. Dude, I think I called. I was like, nice Sinbad shirt, dude. <laughs> this fucking crowd went silent. Everyone turned on me. And I would, I'd it. been like back and forth with everybody. Yeah. As soon as I trashed this lady's gear, she instantly got sad and the crowd just got silent oh. on me. And I was like, Man. my bad. It's the same. I had a couple of minutes left. I was like, fuck. Oh, see, this was the beginning of a headlining show. She set. was trashing me. She's like, you're not funny. Exactly. And I was like, yeah, dude, nice shirt. Where'd you go to get that from Sinbad's closet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where'd you get that from the Sinbad section at Coles? And she was like, <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, I just, I got O'Connor to laugh and some dude. Dude, when old ladies floss, it's fucking sick. Oh, man. When they hit 55 in the was period. She was wearing like a, like a, cheetah print like yeah, silk dude. super flashy <laughs> yeah, it was I don't insane know what the fuck happens in an old lady's mind when they like when they go through menopause it's nothing but like fucking like imitation gucci button yeah <laughs> it's like it's big ridiculous. flowery <laughs> like, they peacock hard dude they do which is weird they're probably desperately trying to get the d if you're a chick you're trying to really get the d you got to start throwing on like the 1992 like in living <laughs> color gear. <laughs> it's wild <laughs> Yeah, so after that, the oh, also the fucking club owner before the show. So I'm like, how are tickets? And she's like, light. And I was like, yeah, yeah of course. What's bananas? And she was like, yeah, it's nice out. Nobody wants to, you know, nobody wants to see stand up. She was like, although I wish I was at St. Louis. They have Mark Marin this weekend. And I was like, cool. Yeah, cool. I wish I was at St. Louis. It's a better club. Yeah, for real. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Don't be a club I mean, owner and be like, I wish I was at a different club. They have a good headliner. I was like, what the fuck, I'm not, lady? I'm not a big Marin fan in the first place. Yeah, I didn't give a fuck. I was like, cool. Yeah. The guarantee he's not going to say anyone looks like fucking Mike Dicka. Exactly, dude. That's, that's <laughs> worth the price, dude. Dude, that... that I'd rather really watch a comic go on stage and fight the audience. Big time. Than somebody have, like, prepared, like... And then I said, your grandma... Yeah. <laughs> like, or just tell cool, cool, like, celebrity stories. If I If I had a guess, that'd be a big one. Yeah. For the boy. Yeah. He'd be up there like, yeah, so I was with Chappelle and... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. The, uh... Overall, though, it was Call good. Call lady 85 Bears football coach is like... That's something that guy will laugh about for about a week. <laughs> yeah, it was good. <laughs> it was fucking it felt awesome, good. dude. That's fantastic. Yeah, it was nice. Also, it's like... 
It's a oh. room full of. It, do you still feel that when you go do stand up and you you're like again? This is a room full of Italian geezers, and you know you're like, oh, I'm fucked, Jesus Christ. Well, I got on. Well, the thing is, is, I've been going with like Jay and Dan, where they're like selling out, and yeah. it's fans. Yeah. So like, I'm no matter what I say, I'm fucking crushing. crushing yeah. And then when I have to go do stuff by my own, I get like three fans. What is it with the geezers that just and come then out? geezers? Well, in North Jersey, geezers love. Geezers rule in New Dude. Jersey. Yeah. Also, me and O'Connor went to the Bada Bing. How was that? From The Sopranos. It was right around the corner. We went to it. Was it tight? Nightmare. What? It was horrible. You, you, they can't be naked and serve food or something and alcohol. So it was Who just... Who made that rule? I don't know. It was just fat chicks. So what are they worried about? It was just fat chicks in like bikinis. It was like Tony, slowly it was just like Tony dancing. sister? <laughs> really. It really was, dude. <laughs> slowly dancing. Like no effort. Just standing there. I mean, we went at like 2 p.m., but it was still... Still. There was also a guy with a... Full wop geezer standing exactly where Tony stands. Stop. Just sitting there by himself with like a bracelet on. Oh, I was, about I was to like, say, this is so pathetic. That's got to be like wop paradise. You go in there and pretend to be a well, monster. That was a joke. That This is what led us here because that was the joke that I was like, that was a masterpiece. You guys don't even understand. <laughs> I told them that. Uh, wops go in and circle the bar five times. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, bada bing is, bada bing is Hodge for fucking Wops. Dude, <laughs> got nothing. You just had the wrong fucking people. I there, was dude. like, I had to. I was that like, listen, you, you went, you were flying too close. I was to just, home, I was dude. like, that, I was like, that just hit me right now, guys. But you just Come fucking, on. you just crashed your plane to the Pentagon, dude. You can't be doing that. <laughs> Call that fucking Wop Mecca. They've all probably been there. Been like, hey. Uh. Put it the is what Mecca. Bracelet, man, the bracelet on, dude. Like, I'm pretty it. much Tony They'd right probably now. Probably go there, then order like Russian hookers and like go home to their wives. <laughs> yeah. and they're like nothing to worry about it. Yeah, get off my case. That's my guma. She's Come like, on. I just want to know if you're waking up tomorrow to go cut lawns or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, lady, get off my. I bag. got some side action going on the bedding books. Yeah, that's uh, me and O'Connor just saw this guy and we're like, Jesus. We we left. We didn't even get a drink. How could you? It was. You guys were repulsed. It was fucking <laughs> disgusting, dude. Super clean. I'll give Bada okay. Bang that. Sure. But it was just like a suit. It looked like a sports bar with no windows, oh. and then just two fat ladies dancing behind the bar. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. And they weren't even naked. It just Bada Bang stinks. It's true. That's kind of puts you in a weird position when there's two fat ladies. And like, well, at least you know, let's have them naked. Yeah. It's funny they can't do that where they serve food. I feel like Delilah serves food, and they like yeah, popping pussies. Yeah. I don't know. Popping poozies, dude. Dude, there's so many poozies getting popped, dude. <laughs> Shout out, Gerbs. Did they get someone, like, le- or, like, get, like, a pube in, like, a steak or something? <laughs> Might be a Jersey <laughs> law. Yeah, maybe. The governor probably had a pube in his steak and was, like, Christy? unacceptable. Christie's not going to let that happen, dude. No, 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 no. He's going to be he's gonna be ticked dude, if you ruin it. getting caught for caught causing traffic jams? Awesome. Can't there be anything more unlikable? <sighs> That, that's like a scandal that hits people so hard to like if you ever sat in traffic you're like that fucking oh, asshole dude true i dude i have a whole new that is like i could hear about benghazi and be like that's totally i don't care yeah but if someone was like i caused a traffic jam i'd be like all right ex- execute him it's fucking terrorist if this dude. was old times he'd, he'd be getting the oh, guillotine kill him dude that'd be guillotine worthy dude i was in a oh my what the fuck was i looking at i can't remember it was some sort of like was I in the YouTube comment? I was watching like the YouTube comments of some video, and I'm I'm reading through, reading through, and I'm in my head. I was like, dude, they, you know, you go, you go there and like, oh my god, this is like the worst of people. It's like, yeah, people used to live in the YouTube comments back in the day. Like, yeah. people would YouTube comment on you IRL and just kill you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that's how we people like we're so much more advanced than that. And you go in there, it's like, fuck him. Yeah, nah, nah. It was a uh, it was a kid. Who, it was the video is hilarious. It's this kid who. Just getting his car towed. It was on. I like to watch public freakouts. I pu- I watch public freakouts like you watch TikTok. Yeah. And this guy was getting his car towed, and he was started. It was sick move. The car he smashed his car up and was blaming it on the tow truck driver. There was like a little piece of plastic in there, and he was like, "You fucking ruined my car." And the guy's <laughs> like, "Nah, dude, you just smashed your car. I'm, I dragged it. You're supposed to pick it up. You don't know anything about towing. You fucking idiot." And this guy starts screaming at the towing guy, and I was watching the. Uh, at one point, there's like a bunch of Jamaican dudes in like the place where the car's getting taken to. And they're like, oh, you got to go. That's, saying, bad, news. Bro, <laughs> That's it, bad news. Bro, there's just these old guys. And like, he did it. He pulled a hit. And dude, and the guy's like, shut up, you old Jamaican retards. 
And they're like, walk up and up out of that, dude. Oh. And they start going off on him. The mom's like, stop it, Joshua, stop Damn, it. Damn, he called him old Jamaican they called him old ja- Shut up, you old Jamaican bitch. Dude, it was so, <laughs> literally, he called him an old Jamaican bitch. I was, and the mom goes, Joshua. And he's like, man, man, he's like, I will fucking kill you guys. He's spazzing out. Oh, no. But everyone in the comments was like, fuck him, fucking piece of shit. And it's like, the guy's obviously a piece of shit. It's, it was just so funny. All these people were like, man, I would have fucked him up. Uh, How like, dare he talk to Jamaicans that way? Yeah, they're like, that's why kids need respect. Da, da, da. And I'm like, shut up, you fucking loser. You I just Jamaican watched it. bitch. I watched it and was just like, this kid's freaking out. Fart, started cracking up. And he called the guy an old Jamaican bitch. It was like, Bleh. and then he like literally <laughs> towards the end, he goes, "Get in the fucking car, mom." Yes. And then mom gets in the car. Wait, how old was this kid? He's, dude, he's probably like nineteen. Damn. Yeah, he was wiling out, dude. He spazzed. He fucking crashed his car and just fully bratted out. It's, but it's like I'm watching this and all these people being like, "Fucking idiot, fucking." It's just all like yeah. morning radio listeners. Being like, tell you what I would do. And it's just yeah. the same comment nine th- into his infinity. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's a bunch of people that act like Tony at the Bada Bang. Exactly, dude. That dude was probably commenting on it when I saw him. He's probably like, hey. He's like, I would have taught that kid respect. <laughs> He's Jamaican. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, the kid, it was a white kid. Joshua was yelling at the fucking... Uh, yeah. The Jamaicans, because they were like, how did the Jamaicans handle it? They fucking erupted. They, they were like, not like that. They were telling him how he like we had a Toyota, and he was just like, shut up, you old Jamaican bitch. <laughs> and the guy, oh, bumbala, dude. They started freaking. Oh, you bumbala, you blood clot, rude boy. Me a number that's one shotter. That's a real rude boy. Call yeah, a Jamaican dude. a bitch. You call a Jamaican dude an old Jamaican bitch. He instantly turns into that dude with the fucking feathers from belly, dude. He turns- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apparently, rude boys in Jamaica dress like that. Yeah. They go like full like Indian headdress. Tribal shit. Like leather, like tight leather. They dress like rock stars, dude. It's scary. The rude boys in Jamaica dress Jamaicans like. Jamaicans will fuck you up. Yeah, dude. I wouldn't fuck with them. Dude, I would, they're fucking fighting a bunch of old Jamaican mechanics. <laughs> like, good <laughs> luck, impossible. dude. It's good fucking luck. <laughs> but yeah, he was just wowing out. Get in the fucking car. And he's like, I will fuck you guys. Dude, we, this dude was going nuts. The cameraman was just like, ha ha. Just laughing, <laughs> filming him. Be like, oh, that's so funny. But dude, I was actually. I've been, uh, I mean, obviously, I got crashed into, unfortunately. Yeah. My, and I don't, I was doing this beforehand, but now, like, I, I barely ever drive because I just, if I have my base car, I'll drive. If not, I just ride the bike. My new approach to driving now is just, I'm just part of it. We're all on the same, me and everyone on the road are just all on the same team. It's just a one big collective effort. It makes driving so nice just to drive and just be like, all right, guys, let's all get here safely. And if someone, like, there's none of that, like, I'm, me for everyone. You know, everyone's more or less racing each other, like, no, you're in my way. I you're in it. my way. Oh, my God. You drive really nice and easy and calm. I was, like, always fucking racing. Dude, you cause yourself, at least for me, I was causing myself so much stress out of at least a couple hours a day. Where for I was sure. just like, eh, if someone would speed past me, I'd be like, what do you think you're doing? I would speed. Yeah. I, it'll make me want to drive faster. Now it's just like, all right, we're all on the same team. When I let people, it's so funny. When they come to the four-way stop sign, I get people like double point, thumbs up. I'm like, <laughs> you got it, dude. You got it. And people just look at me like, what the Yeah, that fuck? would bother me. Dude, I give, I'm. I'm Someone gave me a thumbs I'm, up. I'd be like, fuck you. Dude. <laughs> I'm broadcasting positive vibes on the road, dude. People, most people like it. But then like, it's funny because I had this guy pull up on my ass recently. I was on 95 and it snapped me out of it. And even I was like, all right, dude, relax. And I'm like. No, I should probably speed up. I should probably let me see if I and I try to get over it. Dude, the traffic just stopped in front of me. I jammed the brakes real quick. Yeah. I'm like, dude, like when people drive like assholes, you I set off it. a chain reaction. Yeah. That affects everybody on the For road. For miles. And it's like all you're gonna gain is maybe three minutes. Yeah. Of your what I would guess like frustrated, weird, rushed life of just being like, man, me first. Why can't I get blah, 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 blah. Yeah. it's like, dude, slow the fuck down. I've been driving on the road, dude, everyone just being on everyone's team. This has haunted me since I was little. I would sit in like the the uh, station wagon facing like the back, and when cars would pass me, I'd be like, "Piece of shit." <laughs> I would feel like a loser every single time a car passed our family car. I'd be like, "Yeah." <sighs> no, I get it. So, dude, it's like when I started driving, I was just like, "Yeah." And it's even with my drive with Brittany, she's like, "He's not driving fast." It's like, dude, you're in his way. It's like there's you're you're someone in your way is not like I'm like everyone on the road feels that way of like, "What the fuck? You're in my way. I want to drive faster." It's like, dude. Not everyone's signing up to fucking have you drive 90 miles an hour and risk everyone's life right now. Yeah. Dude, no, I hate it. It's so nice. I drive. It's so peaceful now. I just <laughs> enjoy myself, giving thumbs up to everyone. If someone needs to get in, hit the brakes, dude. Hit them with a big fucking thumbs. And oh, I, like, like, I let people merge. For sure, dude. I get upset when they don't wave. Yeah. That bothers me. 
It's kind of dickish for sure, dude. I I was at uh, Spud's today. I, I went there and I oh, walked yeah. his dog. R.I.P. Spud, dude. R.I.P. Spud, dude. His fucking knees, fuck, dude. He is T's and P's with T's and P's to the Spud dog for sure, dude. He's on a couch right now. You, you saw a spot. Yeah. He's just laying on a couch right now. No TV. He Ooh. can't even. He can't move his leg. Why not? Why well, he doesn't have TV? He just, he's a warrior, dude. He just looks at his phone. So I, he just he's oh, on a, he's on a couch for two weeks. Oh, he can't move his leg. He's just going. He's gonna be going to war on he's Reddit. Go, he's exactly. <laughs> That's all he's gonna do. He's he besides having a TV, he's like it's like seventeen hundreds. He's just chilling in a fucking in electricity. He's just chilling in his house and he's just on a couch, laying there, his knee straight, mm. just fucking on Reddit and just laying there. It's like that's dangerous. That's a nice. Oh, that's a, that's a nice. Uh, he's he's going on a hard dopamine fast. He's like, I'm just gonna fucking lay here and stare at the ceiling for two weeks. I'm like, dude, that's uh, fucking sick. Yeah, it's kind of sick. I or he's gonna lose his fucking mind. He might. <laughs> it's fucking wild. I'll be over there, dude. I'll be over Spud's there. probably listening to this right now, dude. He probably you think God you, bless you, you Spud. Think you tapped in. Oh yeah, I'm, he's listening. Well, true. I thought you meant like right what now. A right true now. warrior. I think he figured something out. <laughs> yeah. He is a fucking warrior, dude. He's literally. Like I didn't, he can't even move his legs. So I'm like, I was like trying to map out how he's gonna like fucking piss and stuff. He, all he can do is just roll over and piss into a I might bucket. Have to FaceTime. I've been FaceTiming Billy. FaceTime is fun, man. Me, dude. And, me and the fucking Kenworth <laughs> kid have been FaceTiming. Dude, I was at the pool at Bananas at the hotel. Oh. I was at the pool FaceTiming him. He's like, "Are there kids around?" I was like, "Yeah." He's like, "Put that shit away, dude," because I had my shirt off. <laughs> and then I hung up and I was like, "He's right." <laughs> I put my fucking shirt on and went inside. Dude, him, him and uh, yeah, him and Spud <laughs> bullying to come down subreddit is so funny. Oh man, funny. it is funny. The clash. It's funny how there's a legitimate clash of people being like on both sides of that, being like, "Don't fucking ruin our podcast." Our podcast. It's like, dude, there's, <laughs> yeah, it's there's, like, everyone's fine, man. Yeah. No, nothing. There's nothing. The Reddit's not going to influence us. It's just, it's just hilarious. Yeah. To you be know, like, we're yeah. this, this something bad's going to happen to where we just meet the whole thing just switches. Yeah. It's if, fucking hilarious. If they take over our Reddit, we're going to be like, well, we got to pack it in. Our Reddit's been fucking taken over before by Opie and Anthony fans. Yeah, they got in there a little. They got in there. <laughs> just to say some negative shit. Yeah, it was, it was just like, it was like, a, for like three days, it was just pictures of Trump's dick <laughs> on, on the rest of Reddit. I was like, all right, I guess Hilarious. This, this is what the fucking... Dude, did you see that Trump 30 hours? No, dude, with George Stapopoulos. <laughs> it's so funny. It's nuts, dude. What, what was going on? Well, I, I watched it. On I was on the elliptical and I I saw like you gotta I watch didn't, it I didn't hear anything. You gotta watch it. Trump talk is nuts. He's wild. He's out, so. out of control, bro. When's he coming up for re-election? Like this year, right? Next year, twenty twenty November. Oh yeah. So like next November. Yes. So he's safe for this fall, but next fall he's gonna be like next fall is gonna be yeah. I mean he already is running. True. He's been he's in, he hasn't stopped. Never stopped. But now it's just like it, it, midway through this interview, they're interviewing him outside. And his makeup starts to run off, and like his hair is kind of sweaty, dude. He he looks like blistered. What the? His fuck, skin dude? is like red and shitty. Oh, it's nuts, man. And then uh, at one point, he's so excited to show Stephanopoulos the new Air Force One design. He designed he's it. He's like redesigning it, and he well, like, he's successful. He like ADA holds it up guy. to the camera, and he's like, "This is it. It looks beautiful, red, white, and blue." And holds it up to the camera and like makes a face. Like he like poses for a picture with it on live camera. It's so funny. He's like <laughs> You have to see it. There's also a part while he's talking, somebody coughs and he's like, Start that over. Let's do that again. If you're gonna cough, go outside. Like yells at this dude for coughing. It was like his chief of staff. Oh my God. <laughs> he's like, Go outside. It was clear that he gave the wrong answer. Mm -hmm. And like while he was giving it, someone coughed. So he was like Cancel that. Let's do that again. And then he gives a different answer, like a better oh, answer. But he blame he blames it on someone else. He's like, get the fuck out of the room if you're gonna act like that. Holy fuck! I yeah. don't. And then of course they kept the camera rolling. Yeah, of course. To make dude. him look like a fucking dickhead. That was a th that was what was that? Two days they were with him, or yeah. thirty out thirty yeah. hours, or yeah, like roughly a day. Yeah, they were like, cause I I saw, I just was reading the captions. I was on the elliptical, just giving it fucking hell. Bro. And I saw George being like, this. He like it was like a bunch of clips of Trump just being like, no, no, no. I think you're being a little ridiculous. This is what yeah. you do, George. This is what you yeah. do. And yeah, you like, act it, like that sometimes, and George. It was, yeah, it was George back in the base yeah. just being like, yo, guys, I did good, didn't I? And there it was yeah. like, good job, George. You got footage of him acting like a dickhead. That's exactly what we need. I don't know. Dude, there was a thing of him versus Joe Biden where they both are giving speeches being like, I don't know why the other one's so obsessed with me. Oh, they're apparently obsessed with me, dude. It's so they're two seventy-year-olds, dude. 
just being like, yeah, they obviously obsessed with me. It's like, dude, you old oh. fucking geezers. Why? Why are we even entertaining you? It is so. I. I don't. I mean, dude. I just. I, I'm just not into all these fucking septuagenarians, dude. Yeah, and then <laughs> dude, wait, saying, septa septuagenarians. It's like a seventy year old. I know. Is that seven? Yeah, seventy septua. I don't think it's septua. Septuagenarians. It's s. It's like septa with the u a instead of a. Really? I saw it in an article. I was like, what the fuck's a septuagenarian? I was like, oh, that's dude. Blizz was doing. Wait, I was telling it's octogenarian eighty. Yeah, I was telling Blizz right. was doing a joke saying how he has a sex drive of an octogen octogenarian. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. But yeah, yeah dude, dude, you gotta, you gotta, and he's he's so excited to show that he like redesigned the Oval Office. He's what like do you he, do? he he gave it like Reagan's rug. That was pretty interesting. You get to pick your desk in the Oval Office. Like certain presidents, there's like a catalog of like twelve different desks. Where do they keep them? Which one? They, I don't know. But he got the one that. I think Reagan and JFK used to use. What? Yeah, dude. Trump daddy pimped out the fucking Oval Office. I haven't, I haven't been keeping tabs on the Oval Office like that. I didn't know. Yeah, it's I didn't nice. know. He redid the curtains. Yeah. He just made, he well, tried yeah, to make he it did. look like Reagan's. He also, <laughs> he also had to uh, debug it. And he's all, well, he was like, I put, the fucking he's like, Oval I put Office. flags in. There's a bunch of flags now in the Oval Office. He's like, really? I did that. He's like, that's pretty good, huh? <laughs> yeah, man. You got to see it. It is fucking... Yeah, man, you're the best. When his makeup starts to run... First off, in the morning when they interview him, his makeup is crazy. He has got he like goes blackface. Does he really? <laughs> he goes blackface. <laughs> like That spray tan he gets in the morning is full blackface. <laughs> then he sweats it off midway through the day, and it's just disgusting. <laughs> oh, his face dude. is like blistered. <laughs> He's like talking shit. That'd be funny if journalists all stopped their bullshit and were like, damn, when did you become the fucking man? And he, everyone would start doing that to me like, uh, I mean, I yeah, thought everybody's pretty cool. If everyone started like, dude, you're the fucking best, he would definitely be like, I, I he would know. love you. That'd be pretty be funny. Like, you know what? You're the best. Thank That's you. why you're the I best. Know. If everyone started hitting him with nothing but positive vibes, it'd be so funny to see how far he'd go. That'd be a fun experiment to be like, you have total control and there's no one saying anything and let him like go about it and just pretend like, yeah, dude, what else? What else? What else are we doing? And, see and just not do it and just keep how... reporting back to him dude, that it's like, yes, it's working, dude. Be... You're killing oh, it. Did you ever remember that show? Uh, fuck. I was talking about it before on Netflix where the guy does these weird social experiments and uh, yeah. he convinces like someone to push someone off a building. Yes. Dude, if, if they did a social experiment on one of the presidents and like made them seem like they had like dictatorial power. Yeah. And to see how far they go, that would be fascinating, Damn. dude. Like, yes, yes, leader. What else? What What's else funny, like, I'm thinking in that you would just have people, like, fake go up to him and be like, that worked. What else do you got? <laughs> exactly. that, that was amazing. <laughs> just see what he does. But that's what happened with Mao in China. That's how, like, 50 million people starved to death. How? Was his his cabinet kept giving him good news. They're like, sweet. Nobody was, everybody was afraid to tell him what was happening. What? So, like, there'd be massive food sh shortages. And his cabinet would come in and be like, you're killing it, dude. <laughs> This is all working. <laughs> Everyone died. Best. <laughs> yeah, dude. Imagine if that—if you did that social experiment and at the very, it just ended with him just like about to nuke China. Like the crew comes out, like no, 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 no. Yeah, we got you. This is your. He's like, what? what? He just comes out of his like <laughs> a total to power stupor. <laughs> yeah. like, what? I didn't. I didn't starve Africa. <laughs> yeah. Like nah, dude. The embargo nah, wasn't we real. Lying. We didn't starve. The Africa. real president's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> You're not even the real president. Dude, that'd be insane. That's a fucking Truman good prank. Show someone that hard. That you're the president. Step in. You could get one of those guys, like whoever's like the fifth in command, be like, all three have been taken out. You're in control, and just let them fucking run. Yeah, run dude. Have have Secret Service rush them into a bunker. Oh my god. And be like, we just got terrorist attacked. You're the fucking head guy now. What should we do? What do we do now? Dude, that's so fucking. Funny. That's a sick fucking prank show. That would be. Who would you have run it? Probably the kid from Stranger Things. For sure. Yeah. That kid. He's like, getting some heat. Who? The kid with like the weird teeth from Stranger Things. What did he do? He was, he was doing a show where he like basically that show you were talking about, where he like gets people on their first day on the job, and pranks them. See how far. See yeah. How far see go? how far they go. But people are making like a fuss about it because was it a show? These are people that are like desperate. <laughs> it's regular jobs. Like these are people that need work, and the kid from Stranger Things is pranking them. Dude, doing that in show business would be so funny. I mean, then you, then you end up with a Weinstein. This is your big break. Then it's like, what are you going to do for this part? True. You want to see an old man jerk off onto I mean, a imagine fern? Imagine doing that with uh, doing a show with young comics and doing that, dude. They would they would murder people. Yeah. You'd be like, no, seriously, Comedy Central wants yeah, you. Yeah, like, Comedy Central wants you, but you have to accuse this club owner of rape. 
on Twitter. Okay. I mean, uh, yeah, sure. Dude. They would. I, I, you could get them to do a lot. You could get people to do a lot of shit. <laughs> yeah. Just putting people up against that kind of money. We could probably do that to some open micers <laughs> to be guests on this podcast. We could get some. Like, dude, you want to be a guest on here? Yeah. This is what you got to do. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Write this on Twitter. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Hell yeah. We should definitely abuse our power. Here's one. I, I didn't get done. I'm just waiting my power gets big enough. That's why <coughs> I haven't abused it yet. I want to be able to abuse it like yeah. real fucking good. I didn't get to finish my uh, hatred for Canada. It's not the it's Please not the greatest take, but it was fun to watch the whole thing. Like it was the longest parade. It's like you hate watch the fucking Canadian I hate parade watched it for like two hours. <laughs> <laughs> I hate watch it before we went to Honest Tom's, and then when I got back, I was still watching. You're it. good. It's it still was on. Still going. And they hadn't made it to the podium yet, which was it was fun to watch their infrastructure fail. And they were like, it started two hours late, but here we are. We're going to still do it. Ugh. Like the whole thing just sucked. Yeah. And they're dude. like, America sucks. This is why we like this guy, because he protested Trump. That's why he's such a cool fucking coach. And then it's like, oh, there's a shooting. Well, keep the fucking parade going. We're different than America. Oh, military flyover. Oh, we're, we're very different than America. Dude, like, that's are you? too fucking funny. Are you different than us, you fucking pussies? They get one championship and they're instantly America. Yeah, dude. That's what happens, dude. When you start winning, you become America. That's true. You get, that's that's a if it's that's a good curse. it's a good sign if you have a shooting at your championship parade. For sure, dude. It's like damn, we're winning. Yeah, this is we're doing so well that dudes are freaking out and shooting people. People are rooting tooting, dude. <laughs> there was a dude that freaked out in Dallas recently. What would he do? He was a fucking incel. Like he had pictures online of him in like he has one of the sickest fucking pictures. It's him with like an AK, but he's wearing like chainmail and like a knight's helmet. What the fuck? Holding an anime pillow, like a sex doll pillow. His waifu, dude. The internet is killing people. Oh, for sure. He was full fucking four chan intel. Did I don't he, even think he killed anyone. He fired. I think he. I think he showed up and got killed. <laughs> Dude, there's a lot of people who aren't just, like obviously people are gonna die no matter what, but there's a lot of people who aren't gonna make it through the age of the internet and opioids. Those two combined are wiping people out. Dude. Yeah, not even like killing people, but just completely scrubbing their life of just like any chance of doing it. I mean, sitting sitting on the internet to the point where you become a fucking mass shooter like that. Yeah, that's I mean the fucking Christchurch guy was like that. Yeah, he was saying shit about like PewDiePie. He was he live streamed his shooting. Yeah, Jesus he he was. I didn't even watch that one. That one was like people told me what it was like, and I was like, I'm not watching that. Yeah, they were like, oh, he yeah, had like people yeah. huddled people into huddled the corner. The thing. Oh. Yeah, man. What's well, yeah? It's like, but he was like reciting like four chan quotes and like internet shit. And this guy in Dallas recently was like the same thing, where it was like, you're gonna let the you're gonna how fucking dumb are you? How Dude. fucking dumb are you? Well, the, now with the internet too, it's like you know people used to compete against like the, the people in their town, people in their country. Now it's like, just like with YouTube, you're in competition with like a huge portion of the world. Yeah, and you're con- it's like every day you're up against it, and there's like all these viral sensations, and like it's it's weird because it's actually accessible. Like you could do it. <laughs> it's before, right there. Like, for the internet, you you're a mechanic, and like you're like, oh, yeah, I'll never, you know, I'm just a fucking mechanic. But now it's yeah. like everyone has access to it a little bit. To like celebrity dumb, dude. It's just not. That's where you're getting mechanics making TikToks. Yeah, that's where I saw that that, troop. Oh, that troop troop TikToks and cop trick TikToks are so brutal, dude. I mean, like, what the what the fuck is that? There was one of a mechanic. He had like grease on his face. Dirty hands. I do this so she can look like. He's like, yeah, I got grease on my face. It's a mechanic's war paint. I'm the guy you call when your boyfriend can't nut. (laughs) It's like what? (laughs) It's like wait, huh? (laughs) What? It's like I think you got to redo that. Dude. So you're gonna blow the boyfriend? What's the? What are you saying? You're gonna make him nut? Is that the problem you're solving? I was like watching. He was like, "Yup, it <laughs> send out. it." Yeah, man. A lot of people are gonna between like that. Uh, that fucking troop one I posted is like that's disturbing. Is like that's the that's the real that's the double edged sword we have with putting troops on a fucking high pedestal. It's like because now you have retards that are like, I could be a hero. <laughs> my high school bully made fun of me yeah do you see me now dude i'm wearing camouflage <laughs> what do you think of me? how do you like me now i have a gun oh, yeah man and they watch a couple more youtubes and like i'm bringing my gun into public 
Hold up while I write this really long letter. <laughs> now, do you think I'm cool? I'm a troop, dude. That's like the next. If you don't give that guy pussy for like a year, he just brings his gun to the mall and he's like, <laughs> Forever 21. Check out this cool gun I have. Yeah, that was uh, that book I was reading was talking about how people used to like look down on troops. Like in every culture, they're like, "Oh, you're a soldier. That sucks. <laughs> it's a fucking, <laughs> that fucking blows, it's a dude. Shitty job." Yeah. Now we're, our culture is like, troops are the fucking best. Well, they had to start gassing them up with those cool commercials of them like climbing out, fighting a and, dragon, like, <laughs> fighting lightning and shit. Like, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's gonna be like. Yeah. You're not gonna be kicking down doors and, like a woman scared. <laughs> <laughs> You're fighting a dragon on a plateau. You're just bored as fuck, dude. <laughs> yeah, you're just kicking open a door. All like, of them Get are, the fuck on the ground. All of them are flying helicopters and like <laughs> jumping on parachutes. It's like, nah, dude, we're going to drop you off in like a shitty Jeep. Yeah, your job is to carry cases of water. And like, go grab that guy and kill him. Like, we know what he did. We're like, eh, sort of. Yeah, someone know. told us to. <laughs> it's like, just fucking go get him. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely not. Very... Like, is that the dragon? Yeah, that's the dragon. Yeah, that's that it. innocent man <laughs> leaving his mosque. Can I still carry my sword? It's like, nah, that's just for a dress up time. Dude, dude. that old. Uh... I think I talked about it a while ago. There was an article that was fucking wild in the oh, Atlantic what? about these Navy SEALs going rogue. They were carrying hatchets. They were what? carrying tomahawks. Oh, when they're over they're there. They're like, you got to get blood on your tomahawk. They were like fucking scalping people. What the fuck? Yeah, man. Yeah, a lot of those dudes come home, too. A lot of, yeah, they all come home. Most I mean, of them I'm come home. I'm saying like a lot of them come home and get kind of swept up into like criminal activity. Cause it's like if you're you know if you're out here doing your thing and get some, that adrenaline. some dude comes bumbling back, you're like, hey man, you want to make some money? It's like I'm going to drive a ton of drugs across the country. You sit in the truck, and if anyone does anything, freak shoot out. That fucking Just freak gun. out like you used to. <laughs> yeah. Oh, some man. dude used to claim. I knew some dude used to claim that they're like, yeah, my, like this guy was saying, like when he drives over like a tractor trailer full of weed, they would drive like hundreds of pounds. And they're like, when he pulls up in the warehouse, a guy p- comes out with like full fucking troop gear with a gun out of the thing in case anyone tries to set him up. <laughs> I was like, all right, dude, I'm sure you weren't watching fucking Bad Boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't know. I in real life it was just some guy Subaru with like with like five pounds of weed in it. Like hurry up, get it out of here. <laughs> I have a pocket knife. And then the troops came out with the helmet. And the troops were there, and the troops, they were getting so much pussy. Well, they said they used to put it in, the troops like, are the... I, I want everyone to know, we support the troops. For sure. We support the humble fucking troops. Not the fucking troops trying to get pussy from I like being troops. I troops who are like, it's a job. I go over there, and, you know. Yeah, hell yeah. It's like, yeah, dude, it's fucking... Sucks. Fuck yes. I like that. There's Dude, TikTok has ruined troops I also, for me. I do feel bad that they... I mean, I feel bad that they have to go over there, because when they, when they now they have access to, like, the internet, and they can, like... They can read. find out why they're. They over can there. read about while they're over there. Yeah. I was talking to the one guy, and he's like, "Yeah, it kind of like sucks when you re- read about like while we're ac- why we're actually over there, and like you kind of understand it's more about oil than anything else." And it's like, yeah, but you got to come to terms with that. You got to be you like, "Yo, we're here to secure this empire." I mean, yeah, yeah, getting a stormtrooper mode for sure. Yeah, but it's like then you watch a new Star Wars, and it's like you just feel like a stormtrooper. You got to be like, the stormtrooper that jumps to the other side, dude. You got to Bergdahl out. Isis? You got to be Bo Bergdahl. And join ISIS. And just be like, yo, I'm with you guys now. Clearly. Or triple agent, dude. That'd be sick to double agent ISIS. Just shot in the head the first night. Like, oh, God, it didn't work. <laughs> yeah, the... Uh, just get raped ten times. Like, how's it going? You're like, pretty rough over here. <laughs> it's not good, guys. <laughs> I've got to be honest with you. The uh, troop TikTok, there's one of, like, this kid's making a video of, like, a frat bro trying to drink. Yeah. And then he's like, sorry, bro. I'm military. And he holds up, like, a bottle of fucking Jack. Sorry, bro. I'm military. I'm not a frat, bro. Chugging beer. Yeah, and then he drinks Jack and like gets a demerit. <laughs> he gets a demerit a from his fucking weird like uncle boss. <laughs> no drinking, boy. Yeah, the troops. Troops are having a rough time, dude. For sure, troops dude. are not having fun. <laughs> no, dude. This is arguably like a pretty bad time. Again, you have the access to the internet. You can research. You get that twenty G's when you sign up. They keep sending me emails about that. I'm like, guys, stop. You're close. You're going to get me on the wrong. They've already got me close where I'm like, it's like, I could get it. I could use a new Civic. Exactly. I'm like, I get 20 G's and I'm sure I can. I'm like, you already tuck in your shirt and wear reflective glasses. It's true. You tuck in a (laughs) t-shirt. If you walked walked past a fucking recruiter's office, they'd be like, (laughs) (laughs) here comes an easy one, dude. This guy's got reflectors. Ah. Get the video of the sword hitting lightning. We got this guy. (laughs) Dude, if you saw a video of lightning. 
Dude, if you if you play Jeeps driving through the mud and play Enter Sandman to it, I'm I'm instantly in the like, trance. How do I get in that Jeep? If you hit me a twenty grand check and it's like, I'm like I'm absolutely powerless against this propaganda. Sign me up. I mean, they they did tap in perfectly to the the psyche. Yeah, man. Like, what's the best propaganda? It's like Metallica and Lightning. Fuck yeah. You're gonna get white trash fucking swarm into this fucking thing. <laughs> I don't even know what we're fighting about, but I'll no. definitely join. Well, dude, it's. I remember when I became old enough to realize, like, when Black Hawk Down and those movies started coming out a lot. I remember being like following the news and seeing them come out. And I'm like, all right, clearly being propagandized. Yeah. That's fu- that's crazy. Out. You can release those movies, and I guarantee those fucking <laughs> things spike up. Like the people joining up, oh, I guarantee it spikes. Yeah. Like Saving Private Ryan, people are probably like, <gasps> yeah, Saving Private Ryan, yeah. Oh, any war movie, I'm sure. Like when they those guys, the Mark Wahlberg, when he was like the last dude alive and like was hiding out in the village yeah. or whatever. Last dude alive, that was the name. Last of the movie. dude, like, yeah, last <laughs> dude <Lone> survivor. <laughs> <laughs> that the fucking when uh, the guy from the office fights in. Whatever. Benghazi. Benghazi. Apparently, Valerie Jarrett watched that entire thing go down on like a live cam. What? That's why Roseanne was like talking shit on her. Really? Again, this is like wait. Wild. Valerie Jarrett was what? Did did fucking Valerie Jarrett was like? Hillary did the Clinton. terrorists fucking tap her in? Was she watching their GoPros? No, I don't know why they did that, but apparently they're saying like they knew that was going to happen, and Jarrett sat there the entire time and watched it and just told everyone to stand down. Why? Nah. I don't know. Nah. Yeah, nah, yeah, you're yeah. getting fake news, dude. I could be. You're getting I, the news that I that guy be. in Dallas got. You think so? Yes. <laughs> you guys got the same feed. I'm about to go. I get. I just got to get fucking, a pillow. I'm about to hit Express right now with a fucking BB gun. <laughs> <laughs> you see this gun? I'm powerful. <laughs> you see how powerful I am? Let's get tased. Dude, those fucking Trump guns we were talking about are real, and that's really? horrifying. That's pretty scary. Dude, on the barrel it says, like, stop fake news. It's like, dude. Someone's gonna shoot a fucking Someone's gonna journalist. Shoot George to be like, dude. <laughs> yeah. Sevenopolis got a little fucking cocky during that. I need to load up my gold Trump gun. Oh my god! Dude. I wonder if they think it's like the golden gun in 007. Wait, if like you hit him once anywhere, he's dead. Done. Yeah, it could be the golden gun. I was actually walking around with Spud in the hospital before he went to the surgery, and I literally <laughs> we got we were going in circles, and we were in this hospital. I didn't know where I was going, and I got like literal. 007 frustration when you're walking on a board and you're like, eh, did eh. you crouch behind a box? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I should have. Got like, a wooden crate. It was like the third time we were back in the same place and I was like, fuck. And I was literally like, why is this? I'm like, oh, this is why I don't play 007 because I just get lost on the board and I'm like, this sucks. Someone just shoots me. I'm like, fuck this, dude. This sucks. Man, getting shot in 007, that was, it was frustrating. Yeah, you guys I, like, <clears throat> you know that fucking noise he used to make? <laughs> Yeah, and some fucking asshole would be odd job, and he was so small and hard to shoot. It was like, dude, no fucking be an odd job. <laughs> that was a bullshit move. That was. Being odd that was job. like being Vic in Madden. Yeah. There's was was a couple bitch ass moves. Yeah. Cousin Bob was Vic all the time. Was he? Yeah. Cousin Bob was a punk, dude. He was good, too. He'd run with Vic, and it was you just, just like, scramble out of the pocket, make everyone run flies. Yeah, yeah you're That's fucked. a bullshit move. <laughs> yeah, Troops wouldn't do that. No way, dude. Troops would never get bullied anymore. Troops are done with their high school bullies. What song was he playing again? Oh, okay, was, how you doing? Hey, yeah, how, yeah the fucking Lil Wayne I'm song. going in, my little Wayne. Yeah. Both of he gets pushed, and he like... He's like, okay. Okay, I see how you're doing. You think, yeah, you think you're tough, man? Check this out. I'm a, I'm in the fucking reserve. Yeah. <laughs> I work the stock room. I'm a weekend warrior. Dude, I, I was actually laughing and thinking about someone doing a TikTok where it was like... Why do good girls like? And at the end, it just switches to a dude in a clan outfit. And he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one, dude. That'd be hilarious. We should start TikTok. Or a guy, same thing. A guy just surrounded in Nazi, Nazi memorabilia. And it's like, <laughs> why do good guys like bad boys? It's total Hitler mustache. I'm like, dude, how's no one done that? would be hilarious. They probably have. Eh, I don't know. I haven't I seen. It. I would have so. come across my desk. I went. I'm like. I was sitting there uh, driving with. Brittany was driving me, and I was like laughing, thinking in my head, I was like thinking about where someone could even order a clan outfit from. <laughs> and I was like, what are you laughing at? And I was like, ah, just dude, trying to figure out how to order. Too, too hard. To explain. <laughs> too hard to explain. It's be a bad explanation. I was just thinking about uh, how to get my hands on a clan robe. It's like, yeah, it's wondering where people buy them from. They make them. They I fucking sure they do. Buy yeah, I'm easy. But you gotta, I guess you got to go online and be like, I fuck. I was reading about. it. I think some dude in Tennessee just makes them. Has been making them for years. That's his, bin, that's his business. It's good living. This is Does he deck them out? But but like when you get to like a purple belt, 
Yeah, I don't know. You can sustain how the N word. How do you sustain the N word for like thirty seconds straight? Yeah, it's like, dude, you get the purple hat, dude. You can like reap down, hit like a full belly. They're like, all right, dude, here you're the per- you're the leader now. Imagine being the fucking leader. The Grand Dragon. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta hate black people so much, dude. Yeah, but they they go on this like we don't hate black people, we just want them to go back to where they came from. They have like Damn. a hard like we're not racist, we're just we want white people to be alone. That's their whole fucking thing. So they're not racist now. Yeah, I think that's their met. I think the clan's reforming. It's like when you to get stay alive, dude. It's like when you get so high you think you're sober. You're like, no, no, actually, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I'm not. What I'm proposing here is perfectly fair. Yeah, just leave our country and go away. I just saw a movie about it with this dude that was in the clan. It's a true story, and then a black mm-hmm. lady like befriends him, and they he like chills oh, I've, out. Yeah, I've seen stuff like that. Yeah, with Sam Rockwell's in it. Oh, I, but, I saw uh, like a documentary version of that. But. That's the same story as anything like that alt right documentary, everything where it's like if somebody just talks to these dudes, they're like, Well, you guys aren't so bad. Uh, exactly. I just wanted a friend, to be honest. <laughs> like every <laughs> dude, that hot Indian chick, that like hot Muslim chick kept interviewing these alt right dudes that were just like, Well, I guess you're all right. Like you seem nice. I'd hang out with you. Yeah, I it's guess. like, yeah, well, now we're friends, right? <laughs> it's like all these guys are just lonely losers. Yeah, man. They should become troops. That, I don't understand why they don't. Like, how you like me now? Dude, I don't understand why they don't snatch these guys up and just let them go do, like, digital recon. Like, all those altists. And, like, look, you guys only have to fucking show up. Yeah, but that's... We're going to put you on the payroll. That's a risk. But the altists won't Those boys out. will not fucking... Yeah, they you, have you no gods, them, no you masters. You Q-level clearance, dude? Nah. They're going to be posting that on the Reddit tonight. True, dude. That's true. You get, you're going to hire an army of Snowdens. Yeah. Which would be tight. <laughs> should be tight. That'd be awesome, dude. I'm yeah. stoked on Assange. I need Assange to get out, dude. Everyone does think our uh, military, like, we're going to get hacked by the Asians. The Chinese are going to hack us. Yeah, with the Hawaii, the 5G shit. I don't know, dude. If we, we, need to, we do need to start whipping our autists into shape, getting them to be like, boys, serve our country. Make it's us tough. proud. You got to promise. Because the Chinese are all autists. Yeah. Every one of them can hack. True. That's like the foot you clan. Yeah. <laughs> They, yeah, dude, they, have the, they got what the 5G now? Well, yeah, dude, you yeah, know yeah. Who's claiming to be, I told you she's claiming to be autistic, fucking Hannah Gatsby. Oh, my God. She's claiming autism now. Or it's like, dude, if someone hasn't taken you aside at some point, and be like, yo, bro, I got some news for you. Yeah. You're kind of autistic. You have, If that hasn't happened, and you're like 30, you're not fucking autistic. Yeah, true. Someone had to have taken it. Like, the fact that you're just like, oh, I'm just realizing now that I'm... It's like... Oh, I'm, I am autistic. Yeah, I don't know if that works so that shut way. Shut up. Imagine just reading the WebMD and she was like, oh, 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 yes. <laughs> oh, man. That too? Yeah. yeah that's... I, I, dude, I, apparently there's a TED Talk. I got. I haven't watched it yet, obviously. I'm just talking out my ass. Wait, but, it is a TED Talk? Her yeah, it's her being like... Or unveiling. It's like when Diddy, on, when Puff Daddy unveiled himself as Diddy, she's basically unveiling herself as an autist. She gave a TED talk about like I've appara- I, I think it's again, good that she decided to call it a TED talk this time instead of a fucking comedy oh my special. God, I know. The first one was a TED talk. Oh, I watch a lot of TED talks for school, dude. They're pretty fucking brutal. That must have been a tough sell. Whoever that agent was, good for them for sitting down in that office and being like, "Do you, you want to call it that, or do, why don't we let's just call it a TED talk?" You know, yeah. The dude. first one was just a TED talk. She's like, okay, I guess I'll do that. Are you telling me I can't do comedy? Oh my god! Yeah, dude. Now she's <laughs> autistic, so she's probably just that's a there. risk. She might loan gumming out the next theater. It's true. That's dangerous. Yeesh. You get an autist front and center, shine some lights on them. They might. She might bring like a sickle down and like into a town square, dude. And start communist <laughs> attacking people. <laughs> yes, dude. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I was delighted to see Canada fall apart today. Fantastic. That was dude. nice. Not the shooting. I wasn't you, happy about the shooting. Did anyone but... die? No. Were they? You think they might have been agent provocateurs? <laughs> Sip that water, dude. Yeah. yeah. Double barrel on that thing. Um, no, but it was the whole, literally because they had time to kill because this thing was running so late. Every single person was like, look at how fucking diverse this is. Wow. They were literally saying that. The whole that. time. Like, that's what makes this the best city in the world. Just how diverse it is. All of Canada. We love everyone. Every single person. I was like, what are you doing? Did you see any natives there? I did not. Huh? Did not see any natives. That's Answer true. Answer to that, Trudeau. True. Raper of the land. Yep. Eco-terrorist. He's not an eco-terrorist. He's a, uh, what do they call it? 
Ecocide. He's committing ecocide. Yeah. Wow. He's allowing it to happen. He sold his fucking land out, sold out the natives, dude. He's a fucking two-faced bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Lord, I was born to drive boat Feeling like Slash in front of the chapel I'm lean back with the less pull Shit I smoke is like cholesterol Spill dressing on the vest at the festival The best of all Had a midget Puerto Rican at my beck and call Best believe that there was neck involved Fuck around and almost wrecked the sub uh, We took acid for ten days straight up in the mountains yeah. Started running with the stallions Playing frisbee in the West Indies Did the tangle with my kidneys Eyes open now I know just what my kids need Rockin' very loose pants Yeah, rockin' very loose pants Yeah, buried a million in the sand by the cloud tower Before I die, take a hot shower